are you doing like data feeds as well from like these sensor technology and stuff? Are you, uh, are you helping facilitate getting that fed through the network? Consider us the infrastructure to the entire job site, right. but the field, like our field first technology services is we're looking at where they build. It could be a pipeline. It could be renewable energy, solar field. It could be a data center, it could be a bridge, which I'll talk about here. Right. They have to stay connected to some degree and they have to continue to be productive. Yeah. How do you finish a project on time, on budget, when nobody knows what's happening, you can't, you don't have live communication or you don't have any real time data flow for yeah. the apps. Yeah. Well, you have to have the infrastructure that can change with the job. When, where they're building doesn't just, they don't build something and it's nice and neat and tidy. There's 30 yeah. companies so what trying would to do be it. an example of changing with the job. What sure. would be like a, like a physical example of that? Well, the first thing that happens a lot of times is they have to break ground. There's a green field and they're going to yeah. have to get in there. They're going to have to excavate and they're going to have to move on to different areas of the job. They're going to go down so they can go up. Right. Right. And so every time that happens, it's a change in the field of work. It's a yeah. change with the people that are working on the job. Yeah. yeah. Right. And then the, where, whatever's set up has to be in a permanent scenario. So it can be moved within three months to six months or a year. Right. And then you have the workers that may not understand what it is and move it or turn it off or unplug it. Right. So change is one of the, that's probably one of our biggest skill set is that we can, we, it's not just the technology because it's going to change. It's how we, right. we handle that change throughout the field because we want the workers to have the same experience in the trailer as where they're building all the way through. Or we want the sensors or the tools to be picked up or they want to know where a lift is. That's always a huge problem. Where's yeah. the lift, right? Where's the lift, yeah. So that's essentially our field connectivity product is everything in the field that needs to stay connected or it needs to be, um, it needs some sort of data or some sort of communication that has to be collected. Do you see, uh, do you see companies, I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus, but do you ever see co uh, companies like, uh, oh, well, we can do it internally and then come to you halfway through the project and go, okay, we need this fixed. Yeah. And, yeah. and you know, in a certain degree, that might be our biggest competition is just there's a, a, corporate, a very competent corporate IT group. They're all very competent. They had to work in the construction field, so they're they're ruggedized, these IT groups, right? Yeah. And then the field teams are always sitting with this challenge of technology. So everybody's ramped up and know how to do it, but that's not where they want to spend their time. Right. So yeah. we typically fit in the middle of that. And then to make it even more complicated, above this is the owners and the, you know, the, the C-suite of this general contractor. So they're you know, pushing down information to the, to the field operations team right. or corporate IT that they don't receive it the same way. Right. So we're in the middle of that, improving the processes and making sure that when, you know, what I always tell uh, companies to work with, we work for corporate IT, we work with the field team. Right. Cause that's hard to get done. Right. And so that product suite that I just explained encompasses the timeline of a job because even the decommissioning or the handing over to the owner of mm -hmm. a job is critical. You don't lose all that equipment and you cancel contracts on time. Cause if you don't, that's thousands of dollars that hit the bottom line. Right. And the profitability is always not that high. So we're always trying to prevent the loss of profit from just something as simple as canceling a contract. Right.